Hello people of the internet, I am Multipit27 and welcome to a new video. I know I haven't uploaded in about like over a week and that's not normal. I usually upload every couple of days. But this video is a good one, I promise. I'm really excited for it. I spent a lot of time on this. Um, and I really hope you enjoy. It's going to be a new series I plan to do on the channel. At the end of the video, I call it Bring It Back Better because I recorded this intro after I recorded the video, but I'm changing the name to Bring It Back Balanced. Um, basically, the whole premise of this series, we're going to talk about guns that were removed from the game um, of Fortnite and how they can be brought back, but better. Because, yeah. Um, anyways, if you do go on to enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell because there will be a bunch of these coming out over the coming months. Enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so now we are in a game. Um, I have got these crossbows right here. Um, so I there's no way right now to get I got the I glitched. I glitched this crossbow into the game, so I'm not going to show you how I did it, because I don't want to get banned, but... And then we have the cubic bow to summon for the purple. Um, they're effectively the same gun, just one has a skin on it. Um, so, and I have a nice little bot set up over here, so we can experiment with these guns. So you see, the blue gun hits for 75, and... And it has a 187 damage headshot, which is okay. I'll, I'm gonna get to the points of how they can fix it later, but um, once this guy spawns back in, oh wait, he doesn't spawn back in. Hang on, technical difficulties. Let me. All right, so I fixed our technical difficulty. Now this guy right here respawns every five seconds. So, as you can see, 187 headshot and 75 body shot. The one does, um, 169 headshot and a 197 Or, sorry, a 79 body shot, 197 Um, you can double these guns. I mean, two of them is actually pretty good. It's not really good, but you can get by with two of them. Um, now the whole idea of the crossbow is really cool. That's why I chose this one. Um, when the crossbow was back in the game back in the day, I thought it was such a cool idea of a gun. Now believe me, I did not think it was good whatsoever, but, um... I thought it was a cool idea, so I really wish that at some point in time they would make it better. Um, and I have ideas for that. So there's a there's a lot of stuff they could do with this gun to make it interesting, and like like just a better gun. Um, I think instead of being I think instead of being blue and purple, it should be purple and gold. And I'll explain why in a second, but therefore, when like buffs come in, it's not so common. You're flying everywhere. I don't know why I just built that, I just did. Um, but, because I remember seeing the crossbows everywhere when they were in the game before. Um, but basically, we. Uh, well, first let's talk about damage. I think the gold crossbow should hit for at least, the, if, it, if it is a gold crossbow, it should hit for a 200 damage headshot. I think then the purple one should still hit for 197. Oh, jeez, hi. It's not very nice of you. That's not very nice. That was not planned. I shouldn't have given him 
Hey. But, um. Yeah, so it should hit for 200 headshot with the gold one. Um. Then. Next up, I think. I really think that if it's damage is buffed to hit 200 damage headshots, um, it should have its own ammo type. Now, um, in Save the World, I have the crossbow, and we're gonna take a look at that in a second because we'll, we'll just, we'll use that as a reference as some of the things that I'm thinking they should change. Um, in Save the World, it uses a heavy bullets. Which obviously wouldn't really make much sense in Battle Royale, but um, if they introduced a new ammo type, that actually would be cool. we've never ever seen that done in the game before. I think actually there was energy cells, but those got removed within the first six hours of the game's release. And I know literally no one in the comment section has played with the Zaptron or energy cells, so don't even bother telling me. Um, but, I think it could use its own ammo, like an arrow, which is, like, heavy bullets. Except, just, not heavy bullets, arrows. When I, when I say, like, heavy bullets, I mean as common as heavy bullets. Not, they're not everywhere, but they're not exactly hard to find. Um... But yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, and because the downfall with the boombo, the boombo was so good, and it used shotgun shells, and shotgun shells are so, to find, are so easy to find, and. And I feel it. I feel like um, the the could change. So it's kind of like balancing it out. It it gets something. It doesn't have the infinite bullets anymore. Um, you have to find the arrows in order to shoot it. Um, which kind of balance out the buffs and stuff. But, and another, yeah, another thing I want to talk about is the fact that the crossbow does only one damage to walls. Now, I think that needs to be changed if it needs, if it's going to come back. I don't think it should be like heavy sniper damage or even just sniper rifle damage. I think it should at least probably hit for 25 at a wall I'd say that's fair 25 damage to a wall and if you because it takes literally two years to destroy a wall with a crossbow now yeah I'm not gonna keep doing that cuz it it's only down to 135 and this is just a wood wall um, But yeah, so those are those are some factors, and then for the interesting gimmicks that I think would be really cool if they added, this is a thing in Save the World. The arrows have piercing damage, so if you have two enemies lined up, you can just bop and they will go right, through. which I think is actually a really cool like gimmick, and I think Battle Royale is lacking at the moment with some interesting guns or interesting new things. Um I think the the loadout you, or the weapons in the game are pretty basic. We have the mythics, but other than that there's not very much like cool you have the heavy sniper and the minigun which are which are just snipers and they don't have anything really special to them. They just fire fast and destroy walls in one hit, which the heavy sniper isn't even as good anymore, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, 
those are only things I can show you in Battle Royale. But now let's hop over to save the world so I can show you the show you guys the um the way it works in save the world. Because it's actually pretty good in save the world, but in my opinion, I don't know about I don't know about anyone else, but I think it's pretty good. So let's head over there. Now, ready, jump cut. Get ready for a fight. All right, so now we've we got here 10 minutes to take out as many husks as possible. We if you bag know. enough husks, um, we win. I if you have, don't, we don't. I mean, I have the don't forget to collect those husk and mist monster um, samples. Strike hard, strike fast, strike fair into the heart the of the horde. Don't forget, the storm is closing in, so, so watch we'll the map. Have to work with the Bonus objectives are in play. This will be only a quick short little last and last lap. Let's get some results.